guys, you want to see how to make some really cool cornhole boards? Stay tuned and enjoy the video. All right, we're going to cut the frames for the cornhole boards and we're going to be using one by four material for the frame itself and two by fours for the legs. So we're going to be cutting four pieces at 47 inches and we're going to also do six at 21 and a half. What that's going to do is it's going to bring it in half an inch from each side. That way we have a perimeter for lights that we can install once we're done. Okay, so we're going to cut our 47. Okay, so now that I got my one by fours cut, I'm going to mark them for the pocket holes. Three holes on the bottom and two on the sides. And the long ones, they're going to get just holes on the bottom. And then that way we use the little ones to tie in to the long ones. So on the short ones, we're gonna come in three inches from each side, and then we're gonna go in the center, 10 and three quarters, and then we'll put all the pocket holes in that way. On these 47 inch, I'm gonna come in three inches from each end, and then I'm just gonna do it every 16 inches. This way I feel like I'll have screws all the way around, and it'll make sure that the frame stays to the board. Okay, now I have all my, I have it all marked out. I can put it on my Craig jig and do all the pocket holes. So now that we got the short ones, I'm gonna make sure that I like the outside of the board. And then I'll just pick the uglier of the two and then put the holes on that. So we're gonna line up the line with the middle for the three bottom. And the ones that go on the side, we'll use the, the two outside. And there you have it. Got my two sides and the three bottoms and then they work out just fine. So we'll do that to all the boards and then we'll screw them together. Okay, now that we got all the pocket holes drilled, we're gonna go over each piece with 180 grit and just smooth out and get all the burrs off where we drilled for the pocket holes. Then we'll get ready to burn and stain. Okay, now that we've sanded the boards, we're gonna go and we are gonna burn the wood, which is a technique called soshishibong, something like that. I probably butchered it, but that's okay. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna burn the wood. After we burn the wood, then we're gonna stain the pieces and then we're gonna put it together. One thing that I would have to say is practice your technique before you do your final piece. Now that we got the wood burnt, you're gonna need to take off the burnt chart off the wood. That way it doesn't get all over everything and you'll be able to stain it and it'll take the stain a lot better. There are different nylon attachments that you could get for your drill. I bought this on Amazon. We'll put the link in the description below. But this thing is a hoss. It beats it by far. Cause the other ones are only like maybe uh, half an inch wide. This is four inches. Um, the other thing as you can see here, I made a jig for these boards so I can set them on the side here. It's going to hold it. That way when I put the nylon grinder on there, it's going to hold it in place. And then when I, ha I have to put it up on top, it'll hold it the same. And then I can just run through these as fast as I can. So you'll see here, one thing I do recommend that you do put a respirator on something because I guess the soot is really bad. So just make sure that you cover your mouth and your nose when you're doing this.
And there you go, guys. You can see how dirty it gets in here uh, when you're taking all, but look how pretty that wood turns out. And it's gonna look really good when once I put that stain on there. You can just see all the wood green in there. So next, we're gonna put it together. All right, guys, now we're gonna assemble the frame for the cornhole boards. As you saw earlier, we used one by fours and they're gonna be a half inch off the edge. So I made this jig so I can make multiple uh, frames at a time without having to measure and use a clamp and all this other stuff. This makes it really simple, it holds it together. We're gonna use a brad nailer, inch and a quarter uh, nails. We're gonna use the pocket hole um, screws. They are inch and a quarter also. And then we're gonna use the special bit that comes with it that you'll need the long adapter with a square tip. Also, we're gonna use Type Bond 3 waterproof glue. So, now that I have my pieces already cut, I'm gonna stick them in the frame, in the jig. And you can see, I'll just show you how easy it is to put together. Just make sure that your pocket holes are going down. Uh, I've done it before where I started screwing everything together and I had one of the boards with the screws up. But as you can see here, it goes together really good. It holds itself really good. I'm gonna put glue on all the butt joints. I'm gonna nail it just to, with one nail on the top and then I'm gonna add all my screws. The nail just helps it to where if there's a little bitty gap, it helps the glue just kind of smush together and then I can screw it down really good. So now all I'm gonna do is put some glue on the edge. Make sure the pocket holes are facing down. Just like that. Use the brad nailer to hold it on the top side. So then I'm gonna do all three sets just like this and then I'm gonna come back and put the screws. And as you can see right there, it's holding it in place. That way it's just a little easier. I don't have to really hold it in the bind to put the screws together. All right guys, when you're putting these screws in, you don't wanna just go ahead and just drive it home. You wanna just go ahead and just give it a, a nice little nudge. As you can see when I'm putting it in, I'm just barely where just, where my impact's just barely hitting it because uh, what I've found is that you can strip that wood and then so then your joints aren't gonna be as uh, strong. So just make sure that when you're putting the screws in there that you just, just get it to where it's snug. The glue's gonna dry and it'll hold it. Plus you have all the screws all the way around that's gonna help you hold the frame to the board. And there you go. One down, and they're all pretty square. That's a fast way to put a frame together. All right, we're gonna cut the legs out of two by fours. These are for the cornhole legs, so they can sit and hold it up. I, I cut a template, just like everything else, so it's faster. I can mark them, cut them, and it just makes every, my life a lot easier. So, as you can see here, we're just gonna make a mark, make sure it's flush. I'm gonna make our mark just like that. And we're gonna leave the dimensions in the video descriptions below. And there's different ways that you can cut the tops. Me, it's a lot easier if I just 45 them off and it just makes my life easier instead of rounding it. I have a mark on my saw where I know it's gonna be just right. And then that way I can flip it. And there's your 45. And that way, it doesn't hit the board when you flip it over. All right, now that I have my legs cut out how I want them, I have another jig that I made. Um, that way, everything stays flush. Because what I'm gonna do now is drill the hole. And to make sure that it's center, and I don't have to remark everything, I'll set up my jig leg 
and you can see how that's perfectly flush and it sits nice and straight. So all I'm gonna do now is make sure that that's straight. Make sure that it's butted up together. Everything's flush. I'm gonna take a half inch drill bit. And there you have it. Make sure they're all the same. They look really good. All right, now that we got the frame already built and we have our legs ready to go, we're gonna stain them. And so all I'm using is some acrylic paint. This color is ocean green. It's gonna match some of the colors on the board itself. But what we're gonna do, instead of just painting it on there and leaving it, it's gonna be more like a stain. A dab will do you, but like that. Kind of like Rhonda's cooking, you know, you just figure it out. Some regular old H2O, just mix it in there. That way the water kind of dilutes it. Good idea to wear gloves also, unless you want paint all over your hands. But see, look how pretty that is. Okay, so we're gonna start in the corners and all we're gonna do is just kind of get it wet. If you want it darker, leave it on longer. If not, take it off right away. So normally what I'll do is I'll come do the two bottoms first and then I will, I'll wipe it off with a rag. Paper towels is what I use. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to leave it a little longer. You can't really see it. We're gonna let it sit a little longer, caking it on there. I'm not wiping a whole lot off. I'm gonna let it, a lot of it sit on there. What I like about this technique is you can see how it takes that wood grain and just gives it a different look. Now we'll let everything dry overnight and we'll assemble it tomorrow. so much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. We want to say a special thanks to our guest who made guest appearance. Let's start over yeah, here. Yeah, because I'm laughing. Okay, it's okay. Right. You can laugh though. It's, right, it's okay to laugh. Okay. <laughs> See how a lot easier that is? Work smarter, not harder. Wait, get back over there, Kim. <laughs> Put your hands on your head like you're telling me what to do. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> right. So have you built kind of cornhole boards before? No, I haven't, but I've certainly had requests for them. And what I like to do at this point is make sure that the legs move freely. So that half inch ledge is working out great because it just allows that light to just sit right there on that ledge. Right. Don't be scared, move forward and be creative.